Hey guys, it's your girl Benita here. So today I'm going to talk about the invisible bra that's been so famous and plastered all over social media recently. So you've seen a whole bunch of celebrity, I mean not celebrity, but like Instagram models wearing it and talking about it. So I decided to buy it so I can make a review on it to see just how good it really was. Then whenever I would click on one of the little Instagram boutiques to on their website to see like, you know, it, how much the bra costs, a lot of them were like $50 plus shipping and handling and stuff like that. And I'm just like, let me just tell you right now, this bra is not worth no goddamn $50. They must be out there damn mind if they think that, it, that it's okay to charge you that much. Like you could literally get this bra for like $12 on like Amazon and I'll link it down below. Also, I was doing a search on AliExpress. Bitch, guess how much I found it for? Guess how much? $2. You see me? I'm cheap. I ain't paying no $50 for no goddamn bra. So I've seen about two different um, popular sites that are selling it that a lot of like, you know, Instagram famous people have been like promoting. But my initial review of this bra is it's not worth it. Like, listen to me, honestly. Listen to Benny, listen to your auntie B. I'm telling you this bra is not worth it. So in the middle of the bra, it has this little like circle that is clear that it's meant for your nipples. So when I put on the bra, I put it on that side, you know, the right side to put it on the nipple and then I put it on the left side on the nipple area. Immediately I could tell that this was wrong. Like I don't know if it's me putting on putting it on incorrectly or if it was just the bra itself but it was just like as I tried to adjust it to make my cleavage my boobs like shift together and just like up it didn't work out so I was like okay maybe I need to like readjust it then I took the top part off so I can like lift my boob up more and then try to stick it like closer to my chest and then I did the other side try to stick it closer to my chest as well so it can kind of like lift up and then that kind of helped a little bit then I realized, okay, maybe if I want my boobs to really like sit up, I gotta take it all off and like completely readjust it. So I did that. As I'm taking off one of the um, the right side, like first of all, it hurt like hell. So I was like, shit, it was like getting a wax. And then um, as I took it off and then I readjusted it, I could quickly tell that the adhesive, the stickiness was already like starting to wear off. And then I did the other side as well. So when I adjusted it with the strap thing, like it got better. So I'm like, okay, it gave me a little bit of a push, I'll say, a little bit, but is it worth $50? Is it even worth $12? No, it's really worth $2. Like if you wanna get it from AliExpress, you can do that. You can get a couple of them and that can help you out last like a little bit longer. But honestly, after like five minutes, less than five minutes of having it on and taking it off so I could readjust it, it was already losing its stickiness. Like that's not a type of bra that you should have. Especially in the summertime, like it's already May. so. It's getting hotter, our body's gonna sweat more. Like it's really just, I can just see it now just sliding off our bodies. Like it's just not worth it. It's like a, it kind of reminds me of like a pasty, a nipple pasty, like you just last you for one or two times and then that's it, you throw it away and you move on to the next one. That's that's really honestly just what it is. Like I like the whole idea that they try to have with the invisible bra strapless, so I got to do is stick it on, but it's just not really, wearable for like long periods of time it's just not i personally wouldn't recommend it unless you do get it for a very cheaper price and you get a few of them you can get the tan one or you can get the black one or you can get both so that it can, that can help you out you can like be interchangeable so i would do that if i was going to do it but i'll probably get another one from aliexpress get the black one since i got the tan one just because it's two dollars free shipping like that i can do that so whenever i'm i am wearing like a strapless um dress or something in the summertime or off shoulder tops that you don't want to show your bra straps with like a maxi dress a summer flowy dress I can put that on and that's gonna help me for a day, for that day that I'm wearing it. But it's not something that you can have on like all the time. Moral of the story is it's not going to be a bra replacement. It's not going to be your new strapless bra that you can wear anytime and just, you know, be free and every day you can do it. No, it's, no, it's not gonna be that. But it is going to be a nice little like pasty that's gonna lift up a little bit. Depending, I don't know, I have, I'm a cup C. So I don't know if it like is different for like bigger sizes or littler sizes. I don't know which size it fits more on. But for me, it was just like, okay, it didn't really do much. So maybe I should have just adjusted it. I should have just made it like, you know, I should have just lifted my boobs up and put it on correctly at first. Or I don't know, like maybe I didn't put it on the right way. Either way, like if I, I try to follow the directions of what I saw where it showed me my nipple should have been, but that did not work out. So I would say just lift your boobs up, stick it on, stick it on the other side and then try to adjust it. That might help a little bit, 
But either way, it's not worth $12, it's not worth $50. If you can find it for cheap, then do that. So, yeah, that's my review for the Invisible Bra. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Leave some comments down below. And I'll see you guys next time.